Hi, in this video I am going to talk about some of the most important books that uh, you should read if you want to start career in data science or you want to do well in data science. Alright, if you are a complete beginner, you should start with some you know, basic statistics and probability uh, stuff, right? So for that you should read a book called Probability and Statistics for Programmers. It's for complete beginner. So you can get started with uh, some uh, mathematical probability and some data analysis using basic statistics and then you can go uh, ahead with other advanced books. So we'll talk about a uh, more advanced book uh, and this one is very popular which is Introduction to Statistical Learning. It's uh, written by a very famous statistician from Stanford University and the book is free. You can actually go and download it and it's introductory and, and the good thing is that uh, you have hands-on exercises with R programming. So you can actually do uh, a lot of applied stuff. They've given data, they've given uh, the code, R code. You can simply go and run the R code and see the results by yourself. Uh, but it's good to have some basic statistical modeling knowledge before you go through this book. So I highly recommend you to read some statistics if you have haven't uh, had uh, statistics in your uh, in your college or in school then good to know some basic statistics um, you know it could be uh, you know simple uh, uh, data analysis such as finding a mean or variance uh, you know uh, some basic probability and you know some basic uh, you know some basic things like you know correlations and linear regression and so on and then they have also written, the same authors have also written uh, a little more advanced book, uh, which is The Elements of Statistical Learning. Uh, it's also free. You can go and download. But the first part, the introductory part, is something that you should read first before a reading uh, uh, or before uh, going through this one. And it's more advanced and it's more theoretical as well. Uh, and the the good thing with this book is that it combines statistical modeling with machine learning. Um, so often people can you know get confused with uh, how is statistical modeling different from machine learning. So you will get an overview of how you know they're different. And obviously, it, depending on your test, you will uh, further you know enhance your knowledge in either of this area, either statistical modeling or, or machine learning. Uh, the next one is the Pattern Recognition and Machine Learning. Uh, it's a very popular book. Uh, is by uh, uh, a scientist called uh, Bissoff, who works for Microsoft. Um, he's a fellow there, and it's a very popular book. In fact, it's one of the most popular book in machine learning. Um, so it's also uh, it's also freely downloadable. Uh, if you just simply uh, do a Google search. You will get the link. Uh, I, I'm also going to provide all the links in the description section. You can go and visit, you know, the uh, web pages. Uh, but you can also obviously do a simple uh, Google search and find this book. Uh, Machine learning uh, yearning is a new book by a very famous person from the field of machine learning, which is Andrew Ng. Um, you can go to his website also, ML learning.org and uh, you know you can you can download some of the uh, I don't know whether this is already available but this is a very um, this is a book from a very popular author so everyone is looking forward to it um, and uh, I guess many of the chapters will be given for free that's what he has promised so and the thing is that Andrew Ng, although he was a professor he uh, has also worked in many top class tech companies so he has a lot of applied knowledge and he always you know bring that uh, perspective the applied perspective to the uh, theory so it's good for practitioners uh, i would say i'm sure and he's also the uh, uh, you know he is also the creator of perhaps one of the most most famous mooc for uh, machine learning so so yeah, if we should all go through this book, I would, I would recommend. Data science for dummies. Uh, so if you're a complete beginner, you have no clue where to, 
uh, what data science is, how to do some data science on, on the problems that you have in hand. And you don't have much time, so it's good to go through this book. It's a simple and, and, and meant for beginners. It has a lot of plenty of examples, so you can always, you know, uh, get your hand, hand dirty with many of these examples and get started with data science with a very little time. So uh, I would recommend this one. Um, R programming for data science. So for data science, you need to learn uh, statistical programming. Okay, uh, and the most famous ones are the R and and the Python. You can of course uh, learn other uh, proprietary softwares like SAS or MATLAB or SPSS, um, but there are limitations with those softwares. So good to uh, have expertise with either Python and R, which are um, free, uh, and there are a lot of things available there. So R programming for data science is something that you can you can learn to learn R programming but for data science because our program is much broader so you know, it's used for other things as well so if you're focused on data science this workbook is uh, is good think python uh, like our programming uh, if you want uh, to learn python for data science this one is a good one okay so it's good to learn at least one language uh, perfectly before uh, doing the other one so either you choose python or uh, depending on your test Python data science handbook uh, is, is very good for beginners again um, there's lots of examples you can always uh, go through these examples and and do by yourself so you'll get a good uh, experience I'm sure Python uh, machine learning book um, this is a book by a PhD student I'm sure he is now an assistant professor somewhere but he was a PhD student when he was writing this book uh, I still remember uh, Two, three years back um, and is, is quite good actually I've gone through this book is quite good uh, so I highly recommend you uh, it's on Python so yeah it's also uh, good who are doing machine learning using Python uh, yeah those who are doing R you can also learn a bit of Python and see how you know it, it's different or rather how you know it's good to have some different experience right so even if you're an R user, I would highly recommend this book. Um, there's some uh, domain-specific things uh, like so far we have uh, we have uh, seen the uh, books which are more introductory or just to learn what is machine learning, what is data science, what is statistical modeling, and so on. But um, you also need to learn some uh, domain-specific things uh, in order to be uh, good at something. Uh, I am not able to list out all the domain specific data science books, but there are few I have listed out here. Maybe if you are working in those areas, you might find it useful. Uh, design of experiment and A-B testing. Uh, so these are things uh, people do in uh, marketing analytics, in sales analytics, uh, in retail analytics, even most of the things that people do in, in e-commerce has to do with uh, design of experiment or A-B testing. Uh, in fact, it's very famous among in in all e-commerce company. Um, so it's it's also free, so you can download and read. Uh, yeah, so that's interesting. Um, natural language processing with Python uh, is also a free book, and you can download and and if you are working on uh, natural language processing, you can find you will find this book very useful. Um, data Jujistu, the art of turning data into product. So this is a book by DJ Patil, he's a very famous uh, famous guy in the data science community. He was head of data science team at LinkedIn and he became the chief data scientist uh, at uh, US government. Um, in fact, he was he was the co-author of the article that introduced uh, you know the word data science and made it so popular. Um, and he's an applied guy. He has worked for many years with tech companies in Silicon Valley. So he brings that perspective, that applied perspective, to um, to the theoretical things that we learn from books. So it's not a very technical book, but it actually talks about how you can use data 
and data science to build products okay so basically the tech product um, so it's a good book for uh, managers good book for leaders and and even if you are a beginner it's, it's a good you will be able to relate to the real world uh, something that uh, you know sometimes we cannot relate uh, the theoretical things that we learn um, with the uh, with the applied world and it's a good book that actually helps you uh, relating to the real world if you want to go a step further and learn more complicated things um, not necessarily the simple machine learning stuff but really you want to go into the depth of machine learning and neural network and deep neural network and so on you can read this book deep learning book uh, by Ian Goodfellow and Ashwa Bengio and Aaron Gobil. So these three, uh, you know, people have written this book, uh, and it many of the chapters are free of free. In fact, you can go to this link deeplearningbook.org. In fact, most of the chap chapters are free. Um, yeah, you can buy the book though. Uh, it's perhaps the best book available on deep learning. It's very theoretical though. Uh, you need a strong mathematical background to learn this book. Um, but but it's worth reading if you are interested to know how neural networks uh, actually work. Uh, it's not just uh, you know calling sub library and using data. You know that's fine. It actually works. But knowing what's happening inside the neural network is also important. So it covers a bit of machine learning, statistical modeling, uh, some you know some basic algebra before starting with uh, uh, neural network and deep neural network. So you'll get a a good grasp of how deep neural network uh, or perhaps the most sophisticated uh, machine learning uh, techniques available has evolved over time so from basic mathematics to the most sophisticated deep learning so that's important that's one book you can the other one uh, in the neural network and deep learning space is this one neural network and deep learning so it's, it's again a free book you can go to this website um, is on the screen uh, it's also a good book um, it's, it's written in a much simple language the other one uh, uh, the one by Ian Goodfellow is um, very mathematical or very technical in, in, in so to say but this one is much simpler or written in a much simpler language uh, or rather written uh, keeping in mind the target audience as uh, people who are working in industry they don't have time to you know do the maths uh, and, and so on so it's, it's a pretty good book so so these are some of the books that you will find useful there are many more I'm sure please uh, you know write in the comment section if you know more books and I'm going to put all the links in the description section so if you want to have a look please go to the descri description section and go to the respective uh, websites you can freely download most of these books. Thank you.